Okay. So, the computer is now restarted. And here's what I am prompt with. And I'm just going to go and I show this again. And I'm going to click out of there. Okay. So, this is something that I think is necessary, but I'm going to. Well, I just want to make sure the system isn't um, doing anything else. It doesn't look like it. Um, I am going to go back in and turn my antivirus um, real-time um, monitoring off. Uh, each time you set your system back, your real-time protection will be turned back on. So I'm just going to turn that off uh, just to be sure. Uh, so I'm going to just run Acrobat. Okay, just wants to run. Okay, so we see we recommend keeping Enhance My Web Browser. Take that off. We don't want to do that. So we want to skip that. That's not something that we want to do. We just want firewall services and that's it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to. Okay, so it does do something. The question is, okay, so I'm not able to run Acrobat right now. And that's because of something. So I'm going to go to unblock applications. And we see here that Acrobat uh, was blocked by antivirus. Okay. So we want to go to unblock. We want to go for components shown and block by and let's see here so we want to unblock I want to say unblock for all okay I'm refresh close this so I want to double check this here Okay, this is this is like my mouse. I'm, sure I'm, not. I'm just going to go ahead and allow that too. It's like my trackpad. Okay, so I'm gonna close that out. Just want to double check here. Um, just want to make sure. I'm gonna go back here. And I am going to go to edit and I want to go to use a custom rule set. Okay, so it has partner allow. Okay, so it has all of these capabilities. Okay, great. So, I want to, want to see that. I just want to go ahead and run it. Now, what we want to be doing actually is trying to get it to run in a containment. So, this is how it works it has to run in a container. So, here, let me see here. Action ignore. We want to edit. Run virtually. Saturday, to make it a 
Let's see here. Just a little curious. Uh, so I have it set to that. I'm actually not going to do that. Oops. No. Edit. Hmm. Oh, I just. Oh, so the top. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little lost there. Um, why does it says ignore action? Ignore if the file properties match the following criteria. Hmm. So with that, it says ignore. I want to try it. I didn't have any problems with this on my other system, but I am, I'm just trying to, so Acrobit was not working, correct, right? So I'm click on it now that I modified the settings and Acrobit is working. Great. Now, what I think I had to do was prompt uh, Komodo when I hit print button for some reason but I'm just gonna see if that's okay so no prompts okay great so again I'm just what I'm doing is trying to repeat the steps of what I did to run multiple instances of Aquarip using Komodo um, firewall containment okay that's what I'm doing. So I'm actually recording the process live. So if I'm making any mistakes or anything. Uh, that's why um, this happened. This is not an edited video. Okay. This is uh, so I, I'm, I'm just waiting for this. I'm going to uh, cancel this print drop, of course. I just. Uh, this. So this is what I was looking for. So I have to uh, allow this as a Windows system application. Let's see something. So you see, I says allow the application to point an action, or you can let's see. So I'm gonna say allow. Okay, that's printing. Okay, so we wanted that to remember to remember that. Okay, we want our firewall to remember that behavior. Okay, so I'm going through this because I don't want this to mess up. So firewall knows that. Okay. Uh, which I, uh, what was that? The R three hundred. I sent that to the drivers for that. So, uh, where's my R three hundred? Okay, so I, it deleted from the support. R three hundred on my system. The uh, status monitor doesn't show up. So I'm just going to hit it again. Uh, actually, I'm going to do something different. Just to do a little test here. Uh, I'm going to go to the 1430. Okay, and I'm going to select uh, the printer uh, model for that to work in Acrobit. Okay, 1430, and I'm just going to hit print. Uh, let me make this uh, a little smaller. Just I just want to make this a little faster uh, for it to process this image. Okay, let's just go. And I just want to make sure that I don't get any prompts from the firewall. 
Okay. Okay, so you see here now, principal was created and it worked. Okay, so the fire, firewall or not even necessary firewall because it doesn't, it's not communicating with the uh, internet, it's just a uh, um, security sandbox. Um, so from here, I'm assuming everything is set correctly. And I want to try it. So what you want to do to try it, you right click on AcroRip. Okay, I know AcroRip is running. Excuse me, it's not running right now. Um, I can uh, run AcroRip right now. Let's just give it a test. Okay, so AcroRip is running. Okay, so that's one instance. Let me see if it did anything to my partner rip. Okay, so partner rip is running. So I installed Komodo firewall. It's not interfering. Uh, well, you see me have to modify some settings uh, so that it doesn't uh, interfere with my installation of uh, Acro rip. And now, uh, hmm, strange. Just notice something. Let's see, did I close it? Oh, okay, yeah, I close it. Okay, so I have part, I have AquaWit running, right? Here it is, let's see if it works. Excuse me. So we wanna right click over AquaWit icon on your desktop, and you wanna run in Komodo container. This is how you get to do it. This is how it works, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so you're going to run in Komodo container. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. It's good that you see the icon and it worked great. Right, so now I have two instances of Acrobat working. And then just to show you, I'm going to show you by. Just trying to find a another image. What is this? I have no idea what this image is. Hopefully it's okay, great. Alright. So uh so here's it's gonna resize this to fit within a window. Okay, so so there you go. So if you look here, I have two instances of acro rip running. Okay, so if you look before, I didn't have the option to come here and right click on AcroRip icon on the desktop and go to run in Komodo container. So I go there, I click on it again, and now I have another instance of AcroRip running. And to show you, I'm going to open a new uh, image. Um, let's see what this image is. Okay, so this is the image you may see in the other uh, video. Okay, so um, what you want to do from here, okay, so so basically, uh, as you see, I now have three Acro Rip instances running. So what I would do is simply, I can come here. As you see, this one is configured for the Epson, the Epson uh, 1430. Okay, so I can go to another window. I can come here, and uh, this one is also configured to the 1430. But I can Configure it for the P800. Okay. Um, okay. So, where's the. Okay. P800. Okay. And this will print to the P800. Okay. Let's just show you that. Um, I'm simply. Okay. So, now that I have it uh, installed, this window is configured to the P800. 
This window is considered, configured for the uh, 1390, uh, excuse me, the Epson 1430. Um, and then uh, we have our last window here. And um, I can uh, assign that to the, um, what I want to do it. I do P800, 1430, my R300. All right, so my R3000, excuse me. So I'll go ahead and uh, put that in for the R3000. Okay. Um, okay, so that's how I have my print set up now. Well, you want to do it because when you hit print, the, uh, excuse me, the, um, the, uh, The print queue will probably not pop up. Okay, so it's just to get past that, I just simply uh, come to the, uh, the print manager and I just open the queue, close it back up. Put the print manager for uh, the 800. Uh, open up the print queue. Okay, and then we can get out of there. And then, um, and 7890, I didn't, um, say any jobs to that, but, um, I can do that. It's no problem. So, um, I'll just change the one for the R3000 since my print queue, I don't have it set up properly here. So, uh, what was that? 7890? I said, yep, 7890. So I'm going to put the uh, selected port for the 7890 here. Um, okay. So okay. So I have the queue set up for uh, each of the uh, printers here. Okay. And. Um, I'm just lining these windows up uh, for just demonstration purposes. How I have this lined up uh, for you guys to see what I'm, I'm doing here. Um, again, uh, I was looking for a method to get this done and just uh, did a lot of research and this looks to work. Um, again, this is another computer that I'm testing this on. so. Uh, if you guys are out there and you're having trouble with this, uh, again, please listen to me carefully. I, I'm using, I, I did fresh install Windows. I don't use any antivirus, any third-party antivirus or uh, security software or, or internet security suites or uh, any other um, firewall. So I, none of that stuff is on my system. Um Again, I modify, I turned off my antivirus and the Windows Defender. Um, and um, I'm able to put the system in a test mode. Okay. Uh, so, uh, next thing that we you want to see is if it prints, right? So, I don't have the printers hooked up. I'm not going to print anything out, actually. Uh, I'm just going to show you that if I hit print, from here, and I and this is for the window with the uh, excuse me the Epson 1430. Uh, you'll see that it is being uh, spooled, and that it will be sent up here to the Epson 1430 print spool. And there it is. Okay, there you go. So that means that job print job will be sent to the printer. Okay, here's the next one with the Epson P800. If I just go to print, okay, and you'll see that it is processing the job and uh, it will come to the second uh, window here, uh, which is for the print queue for the um, Epson P800. And then you'll see that it's going to be sent. And then finally, I have the job that I want to send to the Epson 7890, which I have. 
and you see also you see that the job was sent to the P800 okay and then finally I'm going to uh, hit print uh, on the 7890 um, see it's being processed and um, it will be sent to the 7890 printer and you can see that the job showed up in the print queue okay so that's how you install this that's how it works um, you know I, uh, this is done with free software uh, it's done with uh, Komodo fireware a uh, firewall okay um, like I said I did put a lot of time researching it um, doing this so you know uh, let's take that into consideration um, and uh, thank you uh, please like and subscribe um, I'm gonna try to build a channel and I'm gonna try to put some some great content up here uh, I do learn from a lot of other people I appreciate the content um, you know some things uh, I'll put I'll put out and you know some things uh, you can ask me about all right, thank you.